Like, I, I remember, I did, like, the things that I would get, like, you know, like, callbacks and stuff were always shit that I wouldn't want. You know, like, I, uh, um, like, I, I remember that show uh, on MTV, Punked? The Ashley Butcher show where they play pranks on people, like, or, or celebrities, they play pranks on celebrities. And uh, I remember they kept calling me back, auditioning for that show. And I was great in the audition because nobody, you know, it wasn't real. You know, so we were just goofing off. But it was like, you know, I'm like, I kept trying to tell them at the end of the audition, I'm like, please don't call again. <laughs> I don't want to do this. You know, like, I'm not, because as soon as somebody starts crying, I'm fucking done. All right? It's not like, I'm not just going to keep it up. Like, <laughs> she thinks her dad's dead. Like, I'm not going to do that. It's not fun. I mean, I'm just, everything, like, you'd have to change the name from punk to just, I'm just playing. <laughs> I mean, as soon as somebody got upset, they're like, ah, I'm just playing. <laughs> you know, like, I couldn't, uh, but I, I, I couldn't commit to something like acting as well as I guess I do with comedy. I, um, you know, like, it, it, it's funny, like, when you think about, like, I mean, cause I, you know, I, like I said, I live in Vegas. Like, it's funny, like, you know, when you, when you drive around Vegas and you, you see how many businesses in Vegas are naked. <laughs> it's amazing. It's like live nude women, live nude men, live nude fucking Barbies. Like why is that naked? Still? Like why is that naked? I, I mean, I kind of want to roast beef now, but I don't want to be naked. But <laughs> so, but I, you know, I always thought like I wish, I, I always wish like I had that to resort. To. Like if, at least I knew I could fall back on that. Like that would be great. You know, like if <laughs> just shit just ain't going well, I can strip. <laughs> It's like, nobody's laughing at my jokes anymore. I, I guess I'll let them see my balls, you know? <laughs> I couldn't imagine doing it. Like, I couldn't imagine trying to show it. Like, I, would, I couldn't imagine showing somebody my genitals expecting a positive result. You know, like, I mean, it's uh, normally something I wouldn't get to overlook, really. So I, uh, it's, uh, it's weird. I, yeah, I, uh, well, even like, like, you know, like, like crime, like, you know, people like, you think about it, people who are criminals, I mean, that's fucking, that, I mean, they commit. That's, that takes commitment to what you're doing. You know, like I was watching a YouTube video the other day about bank robberies. Like, I couldn't believe that there's still bank robberies. I thought that went out with fucking, like, pirates. You know, <laughs> you know, as soon as people realize, like, nobody carried all their valuables on a boat, you know, it's like, yeah, this isn't, this isn't as lucrative as it used to be. I think we should get out of here. <laughs> we keep coming back with life jackets and fish hooks and shit, so yeah, it's not that uh, But yeah, I, I, know, like, I, I, couldn't be, I couldn't be a bank robber. Imagine the commitment it takes to be a bank robber. To walk into a bank and actually, I mean, come in there like with a gun, to, like everybody on the fucking ground! <laughs> I can imagine if I did that. Everybody on the fucking ground! <laughs> What'd you say? Nothing. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> I might be the worst bank robber ever. I, um, but yeah, I, I, uh, I've been doing comedy for about 25 years or so. I, uh, I'm from Ohio originally. Thanks. <laughs> I'm sorry. The, the Civil War is over. <laughs> were you, did you guys even, were you in the Civil War? I don't know. I mean, either way, I'm not involved with it. I don't fucking like the Buckeyes. Fuck them. I, uh, yeah! I figured I'd rather be broke and warm, so 
that it made sense. But, but it, get, it goes to extreme, doesn't it? I mean, because, you know, you do get sick of cold weather when you grow up back this way. But it's like, you know, it's, it's, it's the other end of the spectrum out there. It's fucking hot. Like, I mean, like, I live in Vegas. Vegas, like, the sun is a bully. <laughs> it's like waiting for you to come out of the house. Like, I'm going to get this motherfucker. Like, I just want to get to my car. <laughs> I, uh, but yeah, I lived in L.A. for almost 20 years. I mean, if you've been to L.A. at all, or if you've seen on the news, I mean, I mean, fire is a weather condition in Southern California. I mean, so you going out today? Nah, it's supposed to fucking fire. Uh, I don't know. I don't really have a jacket or a pail of water, so I don't know if you're So, but yeah, I, I, uh, it, it's, it's, uh, I, I, I live in Vegas. I, 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 I travel on the road to do comedy. Um, some, you know, sometimes it's, I mean, this is a, this is a unique trip for me. I was just on a comedy club to, you know, this film festival thing. I mean, it's, it was, you know, real easy to do. I, you know, it's a four hour flight from Vegas, you know, I, into Detroit and then, just two fucking hours in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Just two more hours back to my hotel. And uh, yeah, so good to see you fuckers too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just the, it's just everything else. The, the travel and everything, like the, the, the airplanes and the hotels and shit, it, it does, it wears on me after a while. I mean, like, uh, like, you know, like whenever they invent, whenever they invent teleporting, I'm gonna be at the front of the fucking lot. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care if they're still like tweaking the system and it hurts. <laughs> like, you ready to go? Let's do it. Ah! Hey, city. Perfect. All right. <laughs> I mean, my asshole's bleeding, but you know, it uh, kind of was before I got in that thing. So, you know, I, I don't want to start a sign and blame where it's in me. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I uh, um, it, 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 it's, it's, yeah, I live in, Vegas is, it, I live, like I said, I lived in Vegas for about five years. It is different there. Like, when you're in, when you live in the desert like that, it really, like, rain is an event in Las Vegas. Like, you never be, every time it rains in Las Vegas, it never be somebody says to me, like, oh, well, we needed a good rain. <laughs> what do you have, crops? <laughs> what are you talking about? I mean, I mean I, I've been on Earth long enough to understand that, yes, rain is necessary, but I've never waited for rain. I mean, I, I, you know, I, like, I, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm spoiled from civilization. I don't know. I mean, I turn on my faucet and I got water. I guess if I turn on my kitchen faucet and it went, <laughs> I, 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 I guess we need a good rain. I didn't realize right really now. <laughs> Never looked at the sky like come on over <laughs> trying to do dishes with no like, you know. But I uh but yeah I I, I, I I we moved to Vegas in twenty eighteen because uh um you know I, I had my own show at, at Harris for what's called a uh residency show and uh we we uh we moved out there, we moved there from LA. I mean, it's, it's weird. Like some shit, like it, it's like, you wouldn't notice if you didn't live there. A lot of people visit Vegas. Vegas is great to visit, but when you, you know, when you live there, you start noticing shit that you wouldn't notice otherwise. Like this is the second time, this year is the second time it's happened uh, since I've been there. First time was 2019. I didn't realize it was like a periodic thing. Like uh, uh, Vegas gets, just every few years, Vegas gets invaded by grasshoppers. <laughs> the, 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 you know, it's not so much, I mean, it's weird as shit to get pelted with fucking grasshoppers, really, but, I mean, it's not so much the grasshoppers that bother me, it's that nobody else that seems to have a problem with it, you know, like, because I remember the first time it happened, like, I, I went out after my show one night, they're flying around all the lights, I said to one of the guys, I'm like, I'm like, what are those? He's like, oh, they're grasshoppers, I'm like, oh. <laughs> Grass. Like, does that make any sense to you? I mean, like, oh yeah, they're grasshoppers. They, 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 those are mermaids. Six is that, is that, is that, did you not expect a follow up question to that? Yeah, and I remember the explanation I got back in 2019 when they were like, uh, uh, we have grasshoppers because it's more humid this year than usual. That's one of those things somebody will tell you, and you're like, oh, okay, and then they walk away, you're like, that doesn't make any fucking sense. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's like, Oh yeah, every time I leave the shower on too long, here come the fucking grasshoppers. Yeah, I mean, toilet backs up, we got snakes, it all makes sense, thanks. <laughs> it's, um, but yeah, it, it, Vegas, uh, there's a few airports that do, I mean, if any of you 
they travel with any sort of regularity. A few airports still do this. Vegas is one of the only ones that still does it. Like when you check in in Las Vegas, they still make a point to tell you when you check in, they're like, we no longer require passengers to wear a mask on the plane, but we still recommend that you do. I'm like, I Okay. <laughs> hey, why are you why are you squinting at me? <laughs> That's fucking creepy. I mean some of them still have like even at the kiosk when you check in, they still ask you, have you experienced any symptoms related to COVID-19 in the past 10 days? Who's gonna say yes to that shit? Like why why would I drive to the fucking airport if I was gonna say yes to that? Yeah, I, I just wanted to come let you know. Yeah, I uh I'm gonna go on back home, give me a fucking stupid for a couple more weeks. I'm gonna do you. <laughs> so, but I, yeah, I, I've always hated, I've always hated the, 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 the travel part of this. I've, uh, I've been to a lot of places. Uh, I, I, just, I started back traveling, like, I guess around 21, um, when I started getting back on the road. A lot of places, like, that I've been to a lot over the years, like, you know, like, you know, Cleveland, Chicago, St. Louis. Uh, I was in Tampa. Again, it was, it was, a uh, Three or four weeks ago, I was in Tampa. Um, went to Taco Bell after my show because you know I got to maintain this. <laughs> I, actually, I actually try to eat healthier at home, but I mean, there's still time for I me. Mean, because my wife is, has actually worn me down on Trader Joe's, <laughs> and I fucking hate her for it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I mean, I used to go to Trader Joe's and just get mad. <laughs> so I walk in there, and I, like eventually, like somebody worked there would come over to me like. Can I help you find something? I'm like, yeah, something I fucking recognize would be fantastic. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> where's your Oreos aisle? This sucks. Yeah, she's worn me down. I get, yeah, I get like chicken karaoke and stuff like that. But like, I mean, if you look online though, that, that, like Trader Joe's has gotten a lot of food recalls. It, it, like it just the most recent one, there was, a, I guess there's like, uh, I guess they're like chocolate chip cookies or something. They have, they said they have rocks in them. <laughs> and they're like, you can just bring them in and exchange them. I'm like, that's great, but why are you baking on fucking gravel? Like, does that make sense? Why, why would you do that? But I, I, uh, uh, I was, I, yeah, I, I, during, I don't know if anybody else had this, but during 2022, it was killing me. I, uh, there was a GIF recall. That was, yeah, right. <laughs> I love the gas over here. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> that'll fuck with you. Your brain of peanut butter is gone. It, it really, it fucks up your life. I guess the rest of you were adults. But I, <laughs> me and my daughter still eat a lot of like PB&J. And, and, uh, I mean, like, until 2022, I didn't even know that the gif jar wasn't brown. <laughs> I, I, I didn't realize it was clear. I was fucking scraping the sides for the first time. And uh, I was getting low on chip. And my wife, my wife was trying to minimize my, I hate when people try to minimize my problems. She, she does that a lot. She's like, She's like, why don't you just get another brand? I'm like, why don't you just fuck off? I mean, like, <laughs> what are you talking about? She's <laughs> like, why don't you try the point of Trader Joe's? They have Trader Joe's Old Fashioned Peanut Butter. I'm like, I know what Old Fashioned is code for. It's code for fucking gross. All right? <laughs> like, like, I'm just supposed to overlook the fact that there's a puddle of fucking oil on top of my peanut butter. Oh, I'm just going to stir that in and forget it ever happened? No, I'm not. All right? I'm going to remember. That's gross. <laughs> But I, I read, it went months because there was like a, there was a salmonella outbreak at the, the GIF plant or whatever. You couldn't get GIF forever. I went to this grocery store by my house. It was uh, I, I never go to it, but it's, it's near my house. I stopped there one night on the way home last year, and uh, I hadn't had GIF in a while. I mean, my the jar was getting clear. <laughs> and, uh, I uh, I stopped there, and they had one jar of GIF, and it was like it was a big, it was like the Donkey Kong barrel of fucking GIF. You know? <laughs> and uh, I was so excited, I grabbed it, put it in my cart. And uh, take it up to the register. I was like, I, I felt like I was shoplifting. <laughs> so, uh, I read the lady rang it up. She's like, whoop. It's like, oh, sorry. I, 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 this has been recalled. I can't sell it to you. I'm like, oh, shit. Well, <laughs> then can I just have it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> like, yeah. Come on, work with me here. Like, hey, what do you care? And I realized at that point, I'm like, I would rather risk salmonella poisoning than eat fucking Skippy. <laughs> But yeah, I, I, uh, I went to Taco Bell after one of my shows, like a late show, uh, one night in Tampa. It was like, you know, I, I get, I remember, it, it, you know, it was one of those ones that had the sign up for it and said, you know, open till 1 a.m. And I show up at like 12.32. I'm not a dick who would show up at like 12.58. 
Because <laughs> I understand they're work, they're not happy. <laughs> We're gonna talk about, all right? So I'm not the, I'm not about to fucking exacerbate that shit by showing up two minutes before it glows. But hey, can I? <laughs> Can I, can I make a special order on my burrito? You know, I, I don't want to be that guy, so. But I show up, it's like 12.32, I pull up to the intercom, and I've always thought, like, if they really wanted to solve the ob obesity problem in America, they would just force fast food operators to change the word, uh, please, to fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Taco Bell, may I take your order, fat ass? <laughs> ah, not now. I, uh, <laughs> Taco Bell, may I take your order, please? And, and I started, I'm like, yeah, can I have a nacho bell grande? And, uh, and she just cuts me out. She's like, we ain't got no more food. <laughs> like, well, shit, that, <laughs> that's the whole reason I stopped. You know, like, what, 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 what I'm saying? You want to just talk now? Like, what do we do here? I mean, this is fucking awkward. I mean, she was so indignant. Like, like, how, like, like what gave you the idea they would have food? I don't know. The posters with fucking burritos on them out front? I don't know, I mean... I mean, she was so... She acted like I stopped at her house! <laughs> you have any meatloaf from earlier or anything? Like, I did Taco Bell. The tent was open. We ain't got no more food. Okay, all right then. I guess I'll just use the bathroom. <laughs> the worst... The most awkward thing is I had to drive past the window when... <laughs> She's fucking mean mugging me the whole way. See you in the morning. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, uh, uh, I, I, I'm back to traveling a lot. I, um, you know, I, 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 it's like if you ever had to travel a lot, like little things start to, you know, they, I guess it, it wears on you after a while. Like little stupid things, like you know, because it's you know, it's like creature comforts. If you if you're on planes a lot, I guess it's like you know, like like if I don't, I'm back to like I fly enough that like if I don't get upgraded, I get fucking cranky. <laughs> You ever get upgraded to first class? You you can't go back after that. Coach is like a fucking concentration camp now. It sucks, man. I mean, because they're so mean back there. You find out, you ever, you ever get to ride up in front of the plane? They treat you like a person up there. It's amazing. It's like you just boarded the love boat. Welcome aboard, Mr. Caparulo. Would you like something to drink before we take off? You need a pillow? Here's a kiss. <laughs> Thank you, Philip. <laughs> Sit the fuck down and shut up. <laughs> I was sitting. Why'd you do that? They're dicks, man. I mean, like, if I don't get if I don't get upgraded, I at least try to get a, a, a an exit row seat, you know, because I'm tall. <laughs> no. They might as well make you fill out a fucking W two for that shit. How many times do I have to answer the same question getting on a plane? Are you ready and willing to assist in the event of an emergency? You can't just be like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> You gotta show some enthusiasm for that shit. It's like, sir, yes, sir. I'm just happy to be on the team. What do you want me to do? Like, you really think I'm gonna own up to this agreement in the air? You know, <laughs> if the plane's going down in flames and we're all screaming like, oh my god, we're gonna die! Oh shit, I have a verbal commitment to honor. Don't ask. Give it your apron. Right this way, ma'am. Watch your step. Uh, thank you. Thank you for crashing American Airlines. We don't have a choice on that. We have a we have a credit card offer for you on the way down. It's, uh, <laughs> it's so, but I, yeah, I I, uh, I I hate the I hate the travel. I like this. I've been to this is obviously this is my first time in uh, Bay City here. Which uh, thanks for that. I, uh, yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a bitch of a drive, but it's, uh, I, I am. I, me to participate. This is really cool. I do. I, I thank you guys. Um, I, I assume you guys had other choices before that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh, but yeah, I, I mean, this is my first time here. I was, uh, I was in, um, I was in Fort Wayne, Indiana, not that long ago. Because my career is on fucking fire, apparently. <laughs> uh, nice people. It just sounds like shit. <laughs> it's like, like, where am I going? Oh, Fort Wayne, Indiana. I guess I'm a 1940s NBA team. All right, that's not that fun. <laughs> But I, uh, I, was at, I was in Chattanooga for the first time uh, last year, uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. I do recommend visiting Chattanooga. It's fun being in a city where adults use the word choo-choo. <laughs> <laughs> that fucked me up the first time I heard it. Like, I, I read, like I, uh, the plane landed, I called the club owner. I'm like, yeah, I'm on the ground. Where's my hotel? 
The God just beat me over at the choo choo. I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll ride over on my horsey. What the fuck? Like, you're a grown up, right? But I, I met him at the choo choo. He was right. So, I mean, I was so good. I, uh, uh, I remember that trip because like, I, I had to connect in Chicago going to uh, Chattanooga. About three hours in the air from Vegas to Chicago. But I remember that trip specifically because I had to take a dump on the plane. <laughs> you ever find yourself pooping on an airplane? Your, your plans didn't work out, right? <laughs> nobody, nobody puts that shit on their itinerary, you know? Like, oh, I'll just poop on the plane. That sounds perfectly reasonable and convenient. Why did I do that? It's like a portage on the turbulence. It's terrible. So, <laughs> this is going to take longer to wipe. <laughs> like, every time I'm in a bathroom like that, I always wonder, like, do airlines and other corporations, do they save that much money by buying unfiltered fucking toilet paper, really? Are quilts that expensive? Because they're necessary. Like, a toilet paper with no quilts isn't even toilet paper. It's a, it's a, it's a prop. You know, <laughs> it's like, for those of you who don't so much like to wipe your ass as smear it. We have the shit that... Doesn't seem to be getting any less back there. I don't know. I uh, feel like I'm just moving it around, really. I don't know. But I, I, was in, I was in the bathroom on a plane long enough that, like, the flight attendant started knocking on the door. But, which does wonders for your self-esteem. I mean, I think everybody's an experience that. Is everything okay in there? Like, like what if it wasn't? You know what I mean? Really? <laughs> no, I could really use another set of hands. You might like, like, like you think I'm fucking joyriding in here? Like, you don't want to be in here any more than you want me in here. I mean, <laughs> toilet paper doesn't work. I fucking fell a couple of times. Give me a break. Well, you're in the exit, bro, and we need your help. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot, forgot I was on the clock. By the time I came out of the bathroom, there's like three guys in the aisle. I mean, there's a line. And I know I at least got to look the first guy in the eye. <laughs> I know what he's about to walk into. You know, and, and I'm, I'm less than proud of that oh, shit. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, look, you're... You're not required to wear a mask in there, but I, I really recommend that you do it. I just want to like hand him a 20 and be like, look, just don't look at me again when you come back out. Take this money and understand that I know, and I'm sorry. I really am. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how I'm living. Fuck, I, uh... Yeah, I, I, uh, I, 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 I traveled. I mean, the whole reason we uh, we jumped at the chance to move to Vegas is, uh, like I said, I'm, uh, my father now, my wife and I have a daughter. She's uh, she's eight. Uh, are you guys parents because they're kids? Yeah. How many kids you got, brother? How many kids you have? Three. Three kids. What, what, what do you have? Sons, daughters, what? Three daughters. I, you know what? I don't know if it's a common dad perspective, but like I remember when my wife was pregnant, we found out we were having a girl. I was somewhat relieved. Not that I wouldn't have welcomed this son to the world. We found out we were having a girl. I was like, oh, whew. Now I don't have to teach somebody how to be a man. Because <laughs> I still don't fucking know, really. You know, like, I'm going to be dodging those questions his whole life. Dad, how do you talk to girls? <laughs> it's a good question, son. I kind of just got your mom and stopped trying, really. <laughs> but I, I, love, I, love being, uh, I love being my daughter's dad. How, how are your daughters? Fuck. <laughs> I got a much later start on sex than you, didn't I? <laughs> Those are, yeah, 25. That's not, that's not a kid anymore. That's a fucking citizen. That's a uh, raise taxes and shit, but good for you. Forget from there. Yeah, I, I uh, yeah, we just have the, we have the eight-year-old. She's still losing her baby teeth. That's, that's, yeah, she's, she, uh, she's lost six of them so far. Uh, the first two, we actually had to take her to the dentist to have them pull them out because we're all pussies. <laughs> I mean, because she's not gonna pull them out because she's yeah, she's afraid of any sort of discomfort, and I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be sitting on top of my daughter yanking fucking teeth out of her head because I feel like that's the type of thing she might remember. So, yeah. <laughs> but it's funny it's funny how much we we soften a little bit with each generation, don't we? Because I remember my parents would at least threaten me with the, the doorknob thing. <laughs> when I was a kid, my parents would tie a string to a doorknob and then slam the door and get my tooth out. I'm like, what kind of fucking pirate tricks you the <laughs> Like, and why did you hang around while they were tying the string? Like, fucking run, dude. I mean, well, let's see how this unfolds. It's not going to go well, leave. 
<laughs> but yeah, she's uh, she, yeah, she. I read, yeah, it was like I think it was the third or fourth tooth she lost. Like, uh, uh, it fell out in her sleep. It fell out on her pillow. She was asleep. She was excited about it. She came in like you, like what? So bloody. <laughs> like, look, my tooth fell out on my pillow. I'm like, that, that's great. <laughs> I don't want to rain on her parade because that's the only time in her life that that's cute. You know, <laughs> it's like that happens later on. You're gonna have a fucking intervention coming your way. <laughs> Enjoy it now, I guess. But, but I, I love being my daughter's dad. I really do. I mean, I, I never saw myself being a parent before she came along, but I, you know, I couldn't imagine life any other way. Did you cut your daughter's uh, umbilical cord? You did? Was it, was it awkward for you the first time? Yeah. yeah. I, which I think it should be. I mean, I, don't, I think anybody who showed up like too excited to do this is probably fucking weird. They <laughs> <laughs> brought my own scissors. Let's go. You're like, hey, yeah, I don't know. Sorry, broom. But yeah, I, I, yeah. Uh, I remember when, because uh, I remember I forgot all about it. Like, I, you know, I remember we did the classes and everything. Like, you know, they, they went over with us. But it's like, I remember my wife had to have an emergency C-section. So I'm just, I was worried about her. And, and I forgot I had a kid. Because <laughs> I hadn't met her yet. So it was just, like, they had to tap me on the shoulder like, Mr. Caprillo, you want to meet your daughter? I'm like, oh shit, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> but like, I, you know, it was, uh, you know, with, with the kids, the umbilical cord thing, you know, I mean, because yeah, when, when, when they decide to do an emergency C-section, like this whole other group of doctors and nurses, like, like just burst into the room and take over. So I'm surrounded by medical professionals. I'm the least qualified guy in this room to be handling fucking instruments right now. When it's, I mean, you got the court doctor, you have all the training. What am I, the mayor? <laughs> it's like, I'm not, not opening our fucking YMCA here. Let's do it right. They, it's, it's, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I love being her dad. I mean, I don't know if other dads feel like this. Like, like I feel like as my daughter's gotten older, I feel like I've gotten more, I guess, useful as a parent. You know, like, my role's gotten bigger. Because when she was a baby, it just felt fucking stupid. My wife breastfed and shit, so I'm just standing there all the time, like, let me know when you want me to tap in. <laughs> like, I, I tried to help as much as I could back then. I mean, you know, I, I, I play with her. I rock her to sleep at night. I, Change diapers. I didn't mind changing diapers. Diapers never bothered me. I mean, a few diapers had me concerned. <laughs> a few diapers had me wondering, like, what's in my wife's tits? Like, is that, is that milk or fucking chili? I mean, it just seems a lot more shit than I expected. So, like, <laughs> thanks for laughing at that. My wife doesn't think that one's funny for some reason. <laughs> Apparently, old chili tits got no sense of fucking humor anymore. That, that, that my role's gotten bigger over time. It's like, you know, there's part of me too that like I get depressed too. It's like she turned eight in May. And like there's part of me that thinks like, you know, it's like pretty soon she's gonna start outgrowing a lot of the shit that we do together. And I'm not, which sucks. <laughs> like still one of my favorite things in the world to do with my daughter is like my wife has to go like run errands or something. It's just me and my kid watching cartoons and coloring. We fucking love that shit. Because <laughs> I was probably gonna do it anyway. <laughs> but it's, it's always nice to have a child there to validate my coloring, I guess. And, uh, but, yeah, like, but even the cartoons we watch, it's like, you know, she's gonna outgrow those too. I mean, like, the past few years we've had like a solid, I guess, like three cartoon rotation. We either watch Muppet Babies, The Smurfs, or South Park. <laughs> I couldn't talk her out of that shit. <laughs> South Park sometimes, and I'm like, fuck, I'm probably gonna have to explain that to somebody, right? <laughs> and we were playing, uh, we were playing Uno, the card game, we were playing Uno in the kitchen one day, and, uh, like, I was deal, Joe goes first, first on the first card card game, she's like, game on, Jew boy! I'm like, I... <laughs> let's just cut that shit off right here in the kitchen. <laughs> Nobody else gonna think that's as adorable as I do, trust me, it's, uh, <laughs> I'm actually kind of paranoid that fucking Alexa heard that shit, and uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know who she's passing information to, but it's probably not good for us. Um, but it went, like the board games thing, like that's become like one of our things too, like it's become one of our like, you know, I guess like father-daughter rituals, you know, like play a lot of, I mean she plays video games too, which is cool, but like we play a lot of, you know, because my wife usually goes to bed first, so a lot of times me and my daughter are up late, like playing Monopoly and shit, like she was supposed to be the banker, which significantly slows the fucking game down, but we get through it, I mean, we, she found, my daughter found this game on YouTube, she made me and my wife play with her, it's called, uh, uh, Bean Boozled, you heard of that, the, the, the jelly bean game? I don't know why she thought that would be fucking fun, 
Yeah. If you haven't heard of if you haven't heard of it, it's a it's a jelly bean. You have like a bowl of jelly beans and a spinner. You spin a spinner, and if it lands on like green, you gotta eat a green jelly bean. And there might be juicy pear, and it might be fucking booger. <laughs> and it's amazing how accurate they are with fucking booger, dude. Like you don't take it seriously until you eat the first one. It's like, oh, how bad can it be? It's a booger. I just ate a fucking booger. <laughs> The worst thing is like my wife and daughter are like, okay, whose turn is it? I'm like, I just made a fucking booger. All right, the game's over. We're done. <laughs> My niece don't want to play. I mean, you have to figure they had to taste test that shit on somebody. I mean, <laughs> this tastes like a booger to you? Like, why are you asking me? Come on. <laughs> we watch what you do when you're driving. <laughs> Chew it up and swallow it, you get the point, and uh, uh, you're know, like, I couldn't eat any, I couldn't even eat the good ones after one. Like, I, you know, it's like, I still taste the band aid from the last one. Yeah. <laughs> My wife was killing us, that was unsettling. She's like, <laughs> Is that the chocolate one? No. <laughs> that explains a lot. <laughs> but she was still, she had like four. My daughter might have had one, I had nothing. Comes back and they're around the mirror and they're like, okay, it's your turn. I'm like, I'm, I lost. <laughs> no, it's your turn. Come on, it's your turn. I'm like, I, no, I, I vomited. Why do you still want me to play? I mean, <laughs> so I'm like, it's your turn. I, 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 I spin the spinner, it lands on white. I'm like, oh, I haven't had white yet. It's either coconut or jizz. <laughs> Fuck, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, I fucking hate coconut. <laughs> My mouth, like, oh my god, I hope it's jizz. Like, we're having a hide and seek. This game fucking sucks. Like, where are we playing this? <laughs> we have fun. I mean, the only, the only activity, like, I adamantly try to get out of with my daughter is like, whenever she wants to be played with Barbie dolls with her, I want to fucking kill myself. Because <laughs> it's so boring. Like, I don't know why she thinks it's like a selling point. Like, every time she tries to get me to play with a Barbie doll with her, she's like, you can be Ken. I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to be Ken. Ken. Ken makes me feel bad about my body. I hate Ken for that. <laughs> but you know, like it's just like Barbie dolls are pretty mundane. Like they, they don't have like a superpower or anything like that. They just do normal shit. You know, because when I was a kid, my favorite toys like that were always like my Star Wars figures. You know, because they flew spaceships, they had lightsaber metals, they did shit I couldn't physically fucking do. Remember when we played with the Barbie dolls? It's like, all right, which, what's the family gonna do today? Well, first we're going to take the kids to school, then we're going to go to the doctor, then we're going to come back home and give the dog a bath. <laughs> like if we stop at the DMV, too, this is so fucking boring. It's like if you had Hot Wheels and you're like, yeah, they're all stuck in traffic. This is not the thing. <laughs> they're on the way to a small check. There's going to be so much paperwork. This is so fun. <laughs> Luke, I am your father. Yeah, I'll see you in court. <laughs> Too real, isn't it? <laughs> like I said, yeah, I'm late to the party as far as parenthood goes. I'm, uh, I'm 47 now. I was uh, 39 when my daughter was born. Aging's a weird thing, you know, because it, it, it's, it's not all at once. How old are you? How old are you? 40. Wait, you're 40? How old are you? With the, with the, 51. 51? Yeah. How old are you, sir? 68. 68. All right. <laughs> I respect the shit out of this, sir. Hey, uh, how are you, man? You're 16, you little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I'm that much of a resentful dick over here. I'm fucking, I'm, I'm Liz Taylor, the dude, but no, I, uh... I mean, you know, like, you won't even think about it until maybe right around 40 is when you, you start to get a shit. As, I mean, aging's weird, because it's not all at once. You don't wait, you don't just wake up one day like, ah, oh, fuck, I guess I'm old now. Everything hurts, and I don't understand any of this music, and get off my lungs. You know, <laughs> it's like a gradual decline into that person, but you get those little hints along the way that tell you you're getting older. Like, like I hardly ever watch, like, like conventional television anymore, like the one that's, like, like in the living room. I always end up watching TV on my laptop or my iPad or something. It's like, when you watch TV like that, as soon as you by yourself, but it's not like you're getting around commercials anymore, you're getting advertised, and it's just now they're tailored specifically to who you are, which can be kind of spooky. <laughs> I get a lot of fucking Viagra ads. <laughs> like, why, does, why does the internet always think I'm so flaccid? But apparently they do. 
It's funny to be, they've been running by Agra ads on TV and the internet for what, 20, 25 years? They still have that same warning at the end of every ad? Seek medical attention if you have an erection that lasts longer than four hours. Thanks. <laughs> Isn't that kind of just sound advice across the board? I mean, you can technically put that into any commercial and be like, you know what? Thanks for the advice, fucking Wendy's. You know? <laughs> insurance by switching to Geico and you should probably see a doctor if you have a boner that lasts longer than the fucking Shawshank Redemption. What are you, an idiot? It's a long fucking boner to just ignore, don't you think, sir? Why is it four hours? I'd be inconvenienced at one, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, you could probably punch out for the night. I don't think I'm going to need you. <laughs> She's pissed about something. I don't know. one of those ads, I, see, I hear that, uh, the, the, the four hour warning, I was thinking, like, I would hate to be that guy. I'd hate to be the guy, to, I'd hate to be in that position, fucking, I'd hate to be the guy to show up in the emergency room with a fucking unwanted boner. <laughs> I need to see a doctor. <laughs> oh, what's the problem, sir? Oh, I fell. What the fuck do you think the problem is? <laughs> recognize a four-hour boner when you see him, let's go! <laughs> and you call yourself a parking attendant. Come on, man. <laughs> Actually, you leave the hospital now like, Psh, yeah, they said I had COVID. <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't even know this was a fucking symptom, but apparently it is now. <laughs> <laughs> you just have those moments, AJ. You know, you feel yourself getting older, you see yourself getting older, you look in the mirror, you start seeing gray hairs, gray eyebrows and shit. I could poop my pants in the car one night. <laughs> so I went to the grocery store, it was an accident. As it usually is for most of us. I think everybody, think everybody plans on shit themselves. But those are all those Tootsie Pop farts, you know? <laughs> it's not just a little treat, there's a turd inside. One of those times you poop your pants, but mentally you try to talk yourself out of the reality of it. Like, I'm sure I didn't poop my pants. And then. Then you take a step and it's like, ah, I fucking poop my pants. You know? <laughs> it's gonna be a long night. <laughs> but you know what? It wasn't the fact that I pooped my pants that night that made me feel old either. It was the fact that I still went shopping. You know, like, I, I, just, I just don't give a fuck anymore, do I? Like, whatever, I'm just gonna buy milk and detergent, maybe a pen to cashier for what? Did you poop your pants? Nah. Most of it's in the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I'm somebody's dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I don't know, yeah, like I said, yeah, my, my wife and I are still married, too, somehow. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's funny how, like, you know, with parenthood, because, I mean, parenthood does, it changes your perspective, but, I mean, it really does... You know, it changes who you are. I mean, my wife and I, are, we will have times where we're just looking at each other like, did you expect to be this person? It's like, no, I, I expected you to leave, actually, right now. <laughs> I know. But I mean, you know, we've, uh, we've been married for 11 years. I mean, you know, she moved in with me a couple years before we got married. Uh, are you guys married? Are you married a couple? You guys married? Yeah, how long? 46 years? That's fucking impressive. <laughs> it really is. Anybody, 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 anybody longer? You won the prize, all right? <laughs> I wish they had a prize for him. Yeah! That's, 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 uh, that's impressive. I mean, because, like I said, we're at 11 years. And... <laughs> now, we, we've been married for 11 years. She moved in with me a couple years before we got married. We didn't date that long before she moved in. I didn't want to give her a lot of time to <laughs> figure some other shit out. <laughs> I guess. I mean, she moved in with me. I felt bad for her. My house was not ready for visitors. It wasn't as bad as some like bachelor pets. Like, you ever go to some, you ever go to some single guy's house? It's like, dude, why, why would you invite people to this shit? Like, shower curtains don't make curtain fucking curtains. Why is that not that? My house wasn't that way. My house was just dirty in ways I guess I just didn't personally consider dirty myself. Like, she moved in. She's like, why is there a footprint on the wall? Because <laughs> there used to be a mosquito there. Duh, I mean, I, I didn't really trust the magazine to do the job, so he got a flip-flop up his ass. What's the problem? I still get on my wife's nerves to this day with a lot of shit, but I, uh, I have an ongoing war with bugs. 
I love animals. I'll fuck some bugs. <laughs> like, I get really gangster when I kill bugs, too. Like, I see a spider in the house, I'm like, ho, 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 ho. You in the wrong mood tonight, homie. <laughs> arsenal in my house. I have the, I have the bug zooka. <laughs> it's like a tube with a plunger on it. You see like a spider that like, that's on now, bitch. <laughs> my favorite though is the, my favorite is the bug assault. I probably love that. It's like a sawed off shotgun that shoots salt. <laughs> Fucking badass. Like you see a fly on the window. The best part is you get the racket. <laughs> see a, you see like a fly on the window. It's like oh, oh, oh look who's lost. My wife's simpler, but like she sees a spider or something, she's like, oh, just give it to me next time, put it outside. <laughs> Why is he going to go get his friends and come back? <laughs> come on, it's warm in there. They're a bunch of Kleenex pussies. Let's go crawl around like a fucking like, Fuck that shit. Send a message, goddammit. That's what I was waiting for. Because <laughs> with my daughter there, I might feel, you know, I feel like, you know, like the stakes are even higher. It's like, now i got to protect her. If I see a spider near my kid, it's fucking on. <laughs> like, did you just crawl past my daughter? You're gonna have a bad night. <laughs> Cause I'm not just gonna kill you, I'm gonna wound you. Then I'm gonna throw you in the toilet wiggling and pee on you and laugh. <laughs> this ain't how you want to go out, is it, Mr. Spider? Well, maybe you shouldn't have fucking come in here, huh? Look at me. <laughs> My wife's in the bedroom like, you still talking shit to that same spider? <laughs> But my little mental condition, whatever you want to call it, um, came in handy. It was, uh, it was a couple years ago. We actually had a tarantula come to our house. Jesus. Now, I'm not exaggerating either. We're some Indiana Jones shit. Like, I'm not, I'm not comfortable knowing that lives in the yard, let alone coming through the house. We were sitting down to watch a movie. My wife and my daughter in the living room getting set up. I was coming down the stairs. I hear my wife yell, John! John! <laughs> like that little pause that suggests... We're not alone. <laughs> I get down there, there's a fucking Halloween decoration making its way across the living room. I'm like, how the hell did I get in here? Look like a look like a mouse with dreadlocks. Like how the fuck did you get security? I'm looking at my wife, I'm like, did you want to get a Kleenex and pick him up? Or no? Sorry. Luckily I was wearing crocs, because I still like to keep it sexy around the house. But, uh, but I'm like, can I step on a tarantula? Is it gonna be like stepping on a squirrel or something? It's just gonna, it's gonna piss him off, you know? Like, ha <laughs> take that. Ah, shit, get in the car, he's pissed. Come on, we gotta go. Come on, he's got my soap gun, we gotta get out of here. He was heading for the couch, though. Like, if he gets under our couch, we're fucked. He's gonna set up a command center, we have to move. <laughs> I had to act fast, it's like a running start. I'm like, Only off him. <laughs> like, I'll write it over if you're bigger than he is. <laughs> but I was the hero at my house for a minute because Big Bad Dad took down the Big Bad Tarantula. I don't think my wife was all that happy that I pissed all over the living room carpet. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen any tarantulas since then, so you can't argue with results, can you? I love animals. See, like, I could never hurt an animal. Like, I had friends growing up in Ohio that used to go deer hunting every year. They were trying to get me to go with them. Yeah. But yeah, that's <laughs> that's <laughs> that scares the fuck out of me. Actually, <laughs> yeah. you hunt deer, sir. Wait, wait, who, who ever said you? Is that you? You hunt deer? Yeah. If you if you actually like killed a deer before, yeah. which I mean, I'll eat it. <laughs> I don't have a problem with eating meat. It's just I don't want to be around while he's still like fucking blinking and shit. That would bother me. <laughs> I, uh, you know, my friends are always trying to get me to go like back, like you know, like. I remember it was like, you know, junior, senior year of high school. Come on, you need to go deer hunting with us this year. <laughs> it's a man's sport. It'll change your life. Eh. <laughs> I just think in order to be called a sport, both teams should know there's a game going on. <laughs> it's like, I feel like it's like rolling up to random people on the sidewalk. Like, <laughs> Second down to 20, motherfucker. Get out. <laughs> Fishing, 
like fishing. Fishing's fun. Just throw him back. We're done. He's not dead. He's just got a hole in his lip. Fuck him. <laughs> I never feel bad for fish. I just feel like for fish, it's like their version of getting abducted by aliens. <laughs> Throw them back into the water and none of the friends believe him. Shit, <laughs> like, oh, here we go again with another people story. <laughs> yeah, 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 they took your picture and fucking measured you. Fucking, just, just fucking swim. Shut the fuck up. Just swim. <laughs> and, uh, I love animals. Like, I, yeah, I could never, I could never hurt an animal. We, we, you know, um, yeah, like, yeah, I've always been, uh, it's right, like I was saying, like, with parenthood, it does, it does change who you are, like, my wife and I, like, you know, before before our daughter came along, like, you know, we were just dog people. You know, like, when I met my wife, she had a dog, I had a dog, we had some dogs. You know, and I've always been the type of person that's like, you know, the dog's a family member, but I can also leave the house, and he doesn't. <laughs> some people can't fucking handle that anymore. I mean, you know, like, I, I, I you know, like, when you, especially when you travel a lot, you see a lot more people with, uh, with service dogs. You know, like which, which I don't think there's been an increase in need for that. I think there's been an increase in people willing to fill out fucking paperwork and <laughs> put an orange vest on their Shih Tzu or some shit. You know, <laughs> yeah, she's carrying my bag. Oh, okay, that sounds <laughs> that makes sense. Like I, just, I guess I couldn't do it. With my, I couldn't look. I couldn't do it with one of my dogs. I couldn't look people in the eye with one of my dogs. They're like, yeah, Barney's a service dog. What service is he providing, sir? <laughs> he's he's peeing on everything right now. But yeah, it's, uh, it soothes me. I have a note if you want to look at it. But I just, I couldn't, have, you know, like, I, I, yeah, I guess, I don't mind people want to travel with their dog. I just couldn't, you know, I, yeah, I couldn't do it myself, but I, I hate when they take that label too seriously, too, like the, the service dog label. Like, you go to pet their dog and they get all weird about it. Like, eh, he's on duty. Shut <laughs> the fuck up. Like, unless your dog's helping you sniff for drugs or fucking fly your spaceship, I'm going to pet your dog. You know, like, I, 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 like, I know I'm not supposed to pet seeing eye dogs. I've been doing it for like 40 years. <laughs> not a single owner has heard me do it. So fuck it. <laughs> but yeah, we you know we used to just be dog people for the longest time, but yeah, now that the now that the eight-year-old's fucking in charge. <laughs> we uh we yeah, we have a zoo at the house now, man. We have a we have three dogs, six cats. <laughs> Hurts to hear, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> try, try living that shit. Fuck. I, I can't sit on a can without a cat in a hammock here. I, uh... <laughs> my wife always comes taking pictures of me, too. I got a cat in my shirt. But, um, I mean, yeah, we have three dogs, six cats, two rabbits, a horse. It doesn't live in the house. Yeah. <laughs> if you give it time, the fucking stable fees are a bitch. I don't know. But, but yeah, we have three dogs, six cats, two rabbits, a horse. We, we, we just got a bearded dragon for some fucking reason. <laughs> yeah. this, this reptiles, that's the bitch, just keeps on fucking giving back. <laughs> I mean, I just, I've never understood exotic pets. Like, when people get, like, weird with their pets, like, I, you know, like, I had a friend in college, he, he had a big, it's called a Savannah Monitor Lizard. It's a really big reptile. Like, you, you just build a cage for it in his apartment through my set of things that week. I'm like, why do you have this thing? Like, it's not even a pet, it's a, it's a prisoner. It's like, he's a pet, you can pet him. Like, you can pet him, really? He's like, yeah, you can pet him. You just gotta put these work gloves on for something. <laughs> as snuggly as that sounds, I think it would have passed. Yeah, I, you know, I never owned a cat in my life. Uh, I, you know, we, we, we got the, we have six cats now. We, had, we got the first two cats. It was right after everything shut down in 2020. It was like a month into that. We adopted two sisters from the same litter. Uh, initially, the, the SBCA asked us if we wanted to foster them. I'm like, I'm not doing that. That's weird. Like, I'm not going to beat them or molest them. They might as well join the family. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I molest the fuck out of them, actually. I, uh, <laughs> what? They're my cats. <laughs> But you know, if you have cats or know anybody with cats, it's like, it seems like once you get one cat, it's just like, fuck it, right? I mean, <laughs> I guess we're open for business now, and uh, we're running a feline flop house. You know, we've actually adopted a total of seven cats. Six of them were still alive. I'm really proud of that fucking number. It was like the third one we got, because we had the first two for like a year and a half. 
And I went on the road one week and I come back home and my wife and daughter had adopted another kitten. It's a little black hat, she was like maybe four weeks old. And I didn't mind, but you don't give her adopted through the Humane Society or SBCA, you know, you gotta get them spayed or neutered. She was only four weeks old, so we had to wait a while. It was like right after Christmas that year, she came due for a surgery. And for some reason, my daughter started freaking out about that one. Like, I don't want her to go for a surgery. I don't want them to cut her open. I don't want her to go. Let's just keep her here. And I had to be, you know, the responsible adult. The, the, look, I understand that you're scared now, but all our pets are fixed. She's going to be fine. I know it sounds scary now, but once she has her surgery, she's going to lead a much healthier, happier, fuller life. And then she fucking died. So, yeah, it was, uh, it was heartbreaking. And I got to look like a fucking asshole at the same time. It was great. I mean, we had to show back up the next day at the SPCA with a fucking pillowcase. <laughs> yeah, this one didn't work. It was fucking awful. I mean, I mean, like, and I found out first day, you can't be a grown man and cry over your dead kitten because nobody gets a fuck about you. Wow. <laughs> we, we walk in there like we're all a mess. It happened the night before. My wife's crying. My daughter's crying. I'm fucking misty. <laughs> <laughs> lady comes from around behind the front desk. She runs over to my wife and daughter with hugs and tissues and shit. Like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's going to be okay. She gets to me. She's like, get a hold of yourself, sir. <laughs> I'm just gonna go check my spark plug or something. Fuck off, all right? I love her too. I get right. So we handed the pillowcase because they actually had to take the body to do an autopsy, I guess, to make sure we didn't fucking do it, which turns out she had COVID, which makes sense. I mean, I tried to get that cat to wear a mask, but <laughs> that was like an enlarged heart thing from the surgery. So we, so we start to we start to walk out, and then my daughter like pulls on my shirt. She's like, "Hey, can we see if they have any other kittens for adoption?" I'm like, "Wow." You got over that shit quick, didn't you? <laughs> I said to Lady, like, do you have any other kittens available for adoption? She's like, well, we don't have any kittens ready right now, but you can go to the adult cat room. There's a lot of cats in there need a good home. I'm like, that's great. That's not what I fucking asked you, though, is it? Like, I don't want to go to the adult cat room. The adult cat room's fucking sketchy, dude. Those cats have been on the streets for a minute. They got a lot of bags I don't know if I want to take home with me. I mean, we walk in there, like, three of them are fucking smoking. <laughs> Playing dominoes and shit. I'm like, look, I don't have any problems here. We're just, we're just here to look. As soon as we walk into this one cat, just starts following me around. She has one eye, tail looks like she got in a fight with a fucking weed whacker. Like, hey, I need a good home. I need a rich home. I'm like, I'm, like I, I'm sure you do need a good home, but we just had a kitten die on us, and I don't think now's the time for a pirate cat. Hey, it's us. It's not you. It's us. Did you just take my wallet? What the and, and the lady from the SPCA didn't help either. She's like, oh, that's Clementine. She's a really nice cat. I'm like, she's a fucking civil war man. Give me a break, all right? I mean, have we been through enough over the past day? You want me to take this mangled cat home? <laughs> so there's like, they, we ended up leaving there because like, the, like I said, the kitten that died, she was a black cat. My daughter wanted to get another black cat to replace the dead black cat because apparently we're the fucking Simpsons. And, uh, <laughs> So it's like a couple days later, they, 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 they called us, they said, yeah, there was a kid and it was one of the, you know, was in another foster family or whatever, which it was, uh, you know, he had already, this one was a boy, uh, black cat, had all his, uh, uh, his surgery, had his shot, it was all good, went and picked him up, great cat, until he took a shit. I didn't realize kittens could produce shit like that, it was big and rancid, like, like I had to look at my dog and like, did you shit in the litter box? <laughs> Like, the other cats wouldn't even go in the litter box after. And they're like, you really expect us to share facilities with this motherfucker? I mean, it's like a gas station in there right now. It's all, he wrote his name on the wall. <laughs> it's, it's really it's terrible. Poor little guy sitting there like, it, it's my tummy. It, it'll pass. I'm sorry. <laughs> but we didn't want to just ignore the situation. So we took him to the vet like the next day. You know, the vet looked at him. She's like, I, I think he'll be okay. I think it's just an upset stomach. I'll give you some medicine to take home with you. should be fine. Like, okay, fine. We start to walk out, and then the vet pulls me to the side. Not me and my wife, me. Like, I'm suddenly the fucking problem here. Like, Mr. Cabrillo, can I talk to you for a minute? I'm like, yeah, what's up? She's like, how long have you had that kitten? I'm like, what, just a couple days. She's like, well, what are you feeding him? I'm like, oh, Chipotle. What the fuck is he feeding the fucking cat? I'm like the rest of them. I took him to Taco Bell, but they ain't got no more food. So, <laughs> Actually, my wife's been breastfeeding him, so maybe we want to talk to fucking chili tits and get off my back. <laughs> but I, you know, I, uh, um, I mean, I think we're doing, you know, we're, we, yeah, we're kind of pushovers as parents, but I think we're doing okay, you know? I mean, she's a good kid, she's, uh, still in school, she's, you know, she's, 
She's uh, she's a cute kid. Like I, you know, I, I'm probably more protective than I need to be with her. I don't know. I mean, I think that's a natural parent reaction, and it, it, you know, especially with your first kid. I don't know. Because like, I mean, she's you know, she's a cute kid. She's got red hair and glasses. Draws a lot of fucking attention, actually. Like we'll be at the grocery store or something. Like just random people walk by, like, oh, she's so cute. And I don't mind people saying that as long as it's a woman. <laughs> yeah, dude, just keep it fucking moving. What are you doing? Well, what's your name, sweetheart? Oh, it's homicide, motherfucker. Take a walk. What do you want to take your own blood? Shoot the fuck out of here. I don't care if you're her grandfather or not. Go away. I already <laughs> not know her name. <laughs> but you know, like we, uh, um, yeah, like I, I, I've, I've, I've dreaded the idea ever since she was a baby that, like, you know, there's gonna be a day. Most likely, I guess, down the road when my daughter finally has to sit me down and break the bad news to me that she's heterosexual. <laughs> like, Dad, I'm sorry, but I'm straight. Not in this house, you're not. I didn't raise you to be some boy toy hussy, goddammit. I raised you to play fucking softball, all right? That's your head up. I just can't imagine being okay with some dude someday coming to swoop up my daughter. Just being, all right, have fun tonight, kids. Have fun with my daughter and your fucking penis, little bastard. <laughs> and remember, if you try to take her virginity, I'm going to take yours. So. <laughs> so take a good look and decide whether it's worth it or not, because uh, that's how much I love my little girl. I'm willing to fuck her for his boyfriend, all right? You think about that tonight. <laughs> Sometimes that involves raping a dude, right? <laughs> Shit just goes down sometimes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where I don't know what I'm at time myself. I just did. Shit. Can I can I put another thing on the end here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but we'll see. We'll see. But you know, I don't know. It's just the thing that like I don't know if it's funny or not. We'll see. <laughs> Good time to try it out, man. Let's see, see if I can kill all this goodwill before I get out of here. I got No, because, uh, you know, my, uh, my aunt, um, I, I was talking to my aunt, she, she, she started, like, she's, like, really, one of those types of really good at, like, researching and stuff like that. She's really smart, but, uh, she, um, she, she got on Ancestry.com. And, you know, like, if you've ever been on that, if you've ever gotten an account on there, it's like, once you get past, like, a, a couple of generations, you pretty much have, you have to do a lot of digging, like, through census reports and shit like that to actually, like, find your distant relatives or your, your, your family tree ancestors. And, uh, she, she, she was all excited to tell me this one. You know, we went to lunch. She's like, uh, she's like oh, I, I was doing digging on Ancestry.com, and I found out that one of our, she said, our great, 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 great grandfather on your grandmother's side he used to work on slave ships. I'm like, great. <laughs> like, like, you know what? Instead of instead of telling me that, you could have maybe eaten that document. What do you think of that? Huh? You know, it's like, it's like, like, why are you excited to spread this fucking information? Why are you putting this shit on me too? And she started like they continued like, yeah. So his name was. I'm like, I don't think we're done. <laughs> this conversations. I don't want to hear any more about this shit. Cause you know, like I just, I, I decided to just delude myself. Like I, I'm like, like I, I feel like I, I'm hoping like he was maybe just like the ship's entertainment. <laughs> hey, where are you from? Africa too. Okay, oh, great ship. Because <laughs> you know, like it's, it's really, it's crazy to me to think like that anybody who could do something like that would actually be like, you know, like that I share whatever bloodline DNA with or anything like that. Because I could never get even come close to doing something. Like anytime I watch movies that have anything to do with like like you know like like pre Civil War slavery or anything like that like you watch like Roots or Twelve Years a Slave like I always think like when I watch those movies I'm like how desperate are the white actors for work? <laughs> I'd be a mess on the set. <laughs> like, action! Bail that cotton boy! <laughs> Dude, I'm so fucking sorry. Like, <laughs> I don't want to. I didn't write this shit. <laughs> You can whip me if you want. I'll buy you lunch. Fuck. Right? Uh, but you know, like I, because I, 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 like I, I, I talked about that. Like one time I was in Toledo one year, and uh, uh, this woman comes up to me after the show, and uh, you know, she's like, you know, we, we don't have to feel bad about slavery. I'm like, please, please continue. <laughs> she's like, you know, she starts giving me this fucking long ass 
truck and explanation. Oh, well, you know, back in those days, they didn't look at people the way we look at people. And <laughs> like, did you really think I was going to go, oh, great, thanks for, thanks for telling me that. Hey, everybody, <laughs> never mind about slavery. We don't have to feel bad about it now because fucking Darla over here <laughs> says it's cool. And I'm like, you know, like, because I can't, I hate when people try to rationalize shit from like, like, just say it was wrong. It's fucking terrible. You know, like, because I, you know, if, if, like, I couldn't imagine, like, even if it was like that, even if you did just, just shut off, like, the emotion or the empathy or anything like that, I still couldn't do it. You know, because, like, if you, like, if you're looking at a person as, like, a product or something like that, that's, it's still, like, I still couldn't, like, if I was in a store, and I, like, I'm at the grocery store, and there's a roll of paper towels on the shelf, I, and I grab it off the shelf, I put it in my basket, like, you know, and I'm going to buy it, it's a product. But if I pull that roll of paper towels off the shelf and it goes, no, please, sir, I have a family. <laughs> I would put it back then. I couldn't fucking buy it then. Unless it was a jar of jiff. <laughs> You're coming with me, motherfucker. These are desperate times. We gotta go. <laughs> Thank you guys for having me as part of your uh, film festival. I really appreciate it.